Tchaikovsky. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Premier this morning. Good morning, Premier. When the government shut down the slots at Windsor Raceway, which led to the collapse of the local harness racing industry in Windsor and Essex County, and the loss of 2,000 jobs in my community, the justification, Premier, was that those who gambled at the track would gravitate to Caesars and do their gaming at uh, Caesars in downtown Windsor. By now, you, Premier, you must have had time to crunch the numbers. Did the experiment work? How much additional revenue has been realized at Caesars since the slots at the track were shut down and so many people, 2,000 people, were left without good paying jobs in my community? Thank, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And I know the, the uh, member opposite is asking a question in the context of the issues around the horse racing industry, Mr. Speaker, and the changes that were made. I am very pleased, Mr. Speaker, for example, that the Lakeshore Group has been given four race dates, Mr. Speaker. And I know that he is uh, he will be happy about that because it's very close to his community, Mr. Speaker. $180 million we've put into the system, Mr. Speaker, to uh, guarantee a uh, transition. I am awaiting the uh, report from the panel, Mr. Speaker, with a five-year strategy. We want the horse racing industry to be to be uh, sustainable, Mr. Speaker. It was not transparent. It was not clear how the funding was working, Mr. Speaker. And we had many we had many uh, opportunities for input on that. We made a decision. The Drummond report put forward a suggestion. We made that decision. But, Mr. Speaker, we have made it clear that we want to have a sustainable Answer. horse racing industry in Ontario, and we're well on track to do that. Thank you. Thank you. Nice try, Premier. Thank you for those four extra dates in Leamington, by the way. The member from Essex and myself were there yesterday to show support. No one from your government or the official opposition were, but we were. Now, prior to this ill-fated decision to close the slots at Windsor Raceway, the government was bringing in an estimated $8 million in clear profit. $8 million, Premier, is nothing to sneeze at. Now, there's no shame in admitting you made a mistake, Premier. No shame whatsoever. Will this government reopen the slots at Windsor Raceway, breathe new life back into the provincial harness racing industry, get those 2,000 people back to work, and demonstrate to the people in this province, Premier, when you, you say it, you mean it, when you stand up as you did so repeatedly this morning and said that jobs are a priority to your government.